Hey guys, it's Tyler and welcome back to After the Run. Uh, in this episode, we are going to talk about how to come back from an injury or illness. So it's a pretty simple episode, um, but I'm coming off of both injury and illness. So I've been doing a ton of research lately. Um, if you've seen some of my older videos, you saw a little bit about me coming back from my hamstring injury. Uh, and then most recently I'm coming off um, COVID. And so, um, which I know a lot of you can relate to, getting sick in, in one way or another, or having some sort of injury. Before I talk about the recovery process, let me just note that illness and injury are both relatively new to me. Um, I'm in my mid-40s, but I very, very rarely get sick. Um, I also very, very rarely get injured, which is surprising considering I'm a Clydesdale runner, but I don't. And, and let me uh, posit a few uh, ideas or, or, or explanations for, for why that doesn't happen. First is, I exercise, uh, and if you don't want to get sick, exercise, that actually helps a lot with your health, and so that makes a lot of sense. I also eat relatively healthy, even when I was morbidly obese, I was still eating pretty good, I just ate a lot, um, and I snacked a lot, and so, so that's where you need to start. Um, if you're dealing with injury or an illness, um, make sure that your diet's in check, that's a really important thing. Um, when it comes to injury, um, I think I just tried to take a smart approach, but I pay attention to how I feel and if things feel off, I back off. Um, when I'm training for a race, I'm, I try to be really careful with things and pay attention to my body. And that's going to be the big message of this episode is listen to your body. First, let's talk about injury. Okay, when you are dealing with an injury, like a hamstring injury, something that you pull, uh, a pulled muscle or, or something. The most important thing that you can do is stop exercising. You have to. So even if you've been training for something or whatever, if you have an injury, it is imperative that you stop what you're doing. Stop it. Now, most injuries, um, at least sports related injuries, are also going to require the same kind of things to just make you feel better in the meantime. And so you're most likely going to want to elevate whatever's injured. You're most likely going to want to ice up whatever is injured. Um, you're most likely going to want to rest. Um, and so those things are really, really important. Um, of course, if it's a serious injury, you need to go see a doctor and get professional medical advice. Now, if we flip over to illness, it's interesting because a lot of the same things apply. When you're ill, stop working so hard. So don't be working out when you're sick. Um, even with a, a simple cold, you want to ease off for a while uh, because it gives your body time to heal. <clears throat> so make sure that you're resting, um, spend a little more time in bed, make sure that your sleep is good and that applies to both injury and illness is try to get a little more sleep than you normally would. Now, with injury and illness, here's the big thing and the reason why I made, wanted to make this video. It is really important that you pay attention to your body. And when I was losing weight, that was one of the first things I had to learn, was to learn how to feel um, or to pay attention when you, you feel full, pay attention when you're exercising and you've hit your limits. And it's really just learning how to pay attention to your body and to respond appropriately. The next step is just make sure you ease in. And so, for example, I had COVID two weeks ago and I, I was really fortunate I had mild symptoms. Um, it felt like a cold and then I had some muscle fatigue that I wouldn't normally feel. It felt like I had just run a big race, but I hadn't. I was just tired and sore everywhere. So for five days I quarantined, I, I didn't leave my bedroom at all, which I know is a little bit extreme, but I have a daughter with asthma and I didn't want to press my luck. So I literally locked myself in my room, my wife found a different room for five days, and I totally quarantined. It was horrible, I hated it. <laughs> but during that time, obviously I got a lot more rest, I ate really healthy during that time, a lot of liquids of course, and and I did my best to just take it easy. Now, 
while I was doing that, I was looking at my training schedule for this year because I have a bunch of races coming up and I had to decide how am I going to get back into training and I thought, okay, well, I have to wait till I feel like I'm at least 80%, 90% recovered from COVID and, and at that point, I want to start easing myself back into my workouts. Now, what I thought that would look like is, you know, on day one, maybe walk a mile. That's a good start because I wasn't really getting out and walking. Um, and then through that first week, walk a little bit more each time and maybe by the end of the week, walk a mile and then run for a single minute and then walk the mile home. Um, so that was the plan and that's actually what I did do. So I, I was in bed for five days and then for the next five days, I, I started, I got back to work just wearing a mask and, and I was feeling fine. I still was a little bit tired, um, but didn't really have any congestion or anything else. So I got back out th that second week and I started going for a walk every evening. Um, I'd walk for a mile or two and I did that almost every day and by the end of the week I was running the week after that then I started running again and I started really simple I only did a two mile run for the first several days and then I just got to the so I'm only two weeks out or, or three weeks out I guess from the time I got it and this weekend I did my first big run and it, it was too much I, I really made a mistake I'll talk about this a little bit more in the next video um, but I ran 11 miles and I probably should have done half that and I just really wanted to get back into a routine but I could even feel it while I was running I knew that I had uh, done too much and I just really wanted to hit my goals for the month and I probably should have just let that go um, in the long run it's better to stay healthy than to hit some small goal for the month or for the week. So I'm trying to ease back in, but get that consistency in. And of course, I'll have to be flexible. If I feel like my it's too much for me and my body hurts, um, I can dial that back. I can take a few extra days off. So if you are dealing with a sickness or if you're dealing with an injury, please, please, when you come back, pay attention to your body, start easy, um, just ease into things and then you can start to reset your goals and, and challenge yourself, but give yourself some time to heal. I'm so grateful I did that with my hamstring injury because I don't have any lingering uh, discomfort there. And with uh, coming back from COVID, I'm feeling really good right now. So I'm excited for this next week to get back into things. And of course, I'll report uh, to you on the next video on how it goes. Um, but I feel like things are going really well so far. So that's my advice for you on illness and injury. Hopefully it was helpful. If you have any questions or concerns, please put those in the comment section. I'd love to hear them. I might not be able to answer them, but if you give me questions, I love to do the research. And so I can look it up and put that on the blog post over on the website, afterthrun.com. Um, as always, you know, I'm trying to grow this channel. And so if this is valuable and helpful for you, um, please subscribe and, and put on those notifications. Right now I've been trying to do a video every week and I haven't had the perfect consistency of launching it on Monday every week, but the podcast has gone out on Monday every week. The blog has gone out on Monday every week. Just the video takes a little bit of editing. So I'm working towards that. Um, so expect to see these videos coming out on Mondays. Um, but please subscribe. It really uh, helps and to support the channel. All right, thanks. Have a great week. Bye.